Dummy activities are used while making network diagram for uh, different activities uh, in the industry or any form. What is dummy activity? An activity which only shows the dependency of one activity over the other but doesn't consume any time or resources for its completion is called dummy activity. In the network diagram, it is shown by dotted line arrow. And one of the rules of network diagram is it should only be used if it is very necessary. Let's have this example to get better into it. Here we have A as initial activity uh, since uh, there is no predecessor and uh, B, C and D are successor of the A or we can say A is predecessor of B, C and D. Uh, so let's draw it in network diagram. In the next row we have C and D as a predecessor of activity E and that means after completion of C and D simultaneously activity E will start. That means C and D should have same head event but it's not possible as per the rule because they are already having same tail event. So we need dummy activity here to solve this problem. We will make different head event for C and D but the activity E can have one tail event out of these two head event say uh, head event of D and next we will use a dummy activity D1 to show dependency to the other activity uh, in this example uh, to activity C. Next activity F we have after completion of B and E simultaneously so uh, we will make a head event for activity B and E. Here we can make same head event since their tail events are different. Next here we have one more successor of activity A that is activity G. In the next row we are having activity H and it is showing uh, B as predecessor of this activity. If we will make activity H after common head event of activity B and E it will show activity E also as successor of activity H which is not true. So uh, to solve this problem uh, now we will need another dummy activity. We will make a modification by making a different head event of activity B and uh, we need a dummy activity to show dependency of activity F on this activity B. And the last activity I we are having here which has G, H and F uh, all three uh, as predecessor. So it is clear that activity G, H and F will have uh, same head event and we can make it since they all are having different tail event. So one more time we need to modify it to make it possible. Now it's time to give numbers to different events and for that uh, we need to apply Fulkerson's rule. As per the rule, give number to the first event and then eliminate all the activities going out of it and give next number to the event uh, which doesn't have any uh, successor. Watch previous tutorial for a detailed explanation of Fulkerson's rule. So here we are done of uh, drawing network diagram. I hope uh, by this tutorial dummy activity and its application will be uh, clear to you. If you still have any doubt, feel free to comment. This is Harish Kumar Patel and you are watching this tutorial on your e-studies. Stay on this channel for more such content. Thank you.